Hey, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and today I'm going to answer a question that I get asked all the time, which is, should I form this LLC in Nevada? And the answer is probably no, except for the very few times where it's yes. I know that there's tons of stuff on the internet and all these seminars and stuff you go to that say, oh, you have to form your LLC in Nevada as if it's this magical jurisdiction that's gonna save you money. Most of the time it actually won't, you'll actually pay more money. But I need to explain why. So it is true that there are good things about forming an LLC in Nevada. No state income tax in Nevada. So if your LLC is formed there, you don't have to pay income tax there just because it happens to exist there. Nevada's a pretty easy place to form an LLC. You can just like go on the website where you form it and do it right there get your business license, all that stuff. Right there, same page, just check different boxes and send them a whole lot more money. So it's relatively simple to do. And it's also relatively simple to you know, have a, um, a mailbox there, a registered agent there, and, and set that all up online where you don't have to have any physical presence there. But here's the thing. If you are a human being who is a physical person and takes up space, somewhere here in the United States, and you formed your LLC in Nevada, but you're physically located in another state. No, I don't mean that you have to have a storefront. I mean, you're a human who is physically located in another state and you have your home office where you run your business over the internet or over the, on the phone or whatever it is, you're still a physical person who is taking up space in a room. So you are located in the state where you live and you will have to register as a foreign LLC in that state and pay various fees and file various forms that are the same or even more than you would have had to if you had just formed your LLC where you live. So actually you're going to be paying twice as much and file twice as many forms. And you're still going to pay state taxes in your state if there are any due. So most of the time you're not any better off. Except if you don't actually live in a state in any sense of permanence, and I don't mean that you move every couple years, I mean that you only stay in each state for a couple months, or you're not even in the United States, you travel all over the world, but a lot of your customers or clients or whatever are here in the US, and so you wanna have your business presence be in the US without a physical location, and you want a bank account here and a merchant account and all that jazz, then, and really only then, does it make sense to form your LLC in Nevada. So the answer is, should you form, you know, to, should you form your LLC in Nevada is no, you should form it in your own state, except if you're not really in, in any, your own state, <laughs> then Nevada is a great place. Or the other exception is if you have a business where you're, you're a startup and you're trying to get venture capital and all that, you actually need to probably need to form it in, Del in Delaware. You need to form a corporation, you need to form it in Delaware most likely. But that's a whole different video. Anyway, this is Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. If you'd like any more information about forming an LLC, or any other small business law topics, you can go to elizabethpw.com. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.